I was told that I should not wear black dresses because that will make me look darker. I was also told that I cannot have black coffee because that will increase the melanin production in my skin and it will make me darker. And very recently I was told that I should stop making YouTube videos because I won't be successful on YouTube because I am too dark. Well, I did not follow any of those advices. I am sipping my cup of black coffee wearing a black dress and I am making a new YouTube video where I share my experiences of growing up as a dark skinned girl in India. So yeah, let's get started. So before I start this video, let me give a quick disclaimer. I'm not creating this video because I want any kind of sympathy or attention. I think I've grown up now and even though I feel bad every time I hear these things, I don't get triggered. But I know a lot of girls, you know, dark skinned girls who are still affected, who are still bullied and they feel very bad. Girls who are rejected by their boyfriends after dating them for really long because the guy's parents won't accept a dark skinned daughter-in-law. I hear little girls getting bullied by their relatives, their teachers, their friends and girls not getting acting opportunities because they're dark. And when I hear these things, I feel so bad. I'm so badly triggered and I feel helpless. I really don't know what to do. But I thought at least I can make a video because I know there are a lot of people out there who bully others, who make fun of others for their skin tone, but they don't know how badly it hurts. And again, there is a large section of people out there who are not bullying others, but they're not aware of this situation either. And in my channel, I always try to create videos and share my experiences with the hope that it can help you to know something new and it can help you to improve your life. So I thought I will share my experience and maybe you will learn about something. And if some dark skinned girl like me is watching this video, I want you to know that you are not alone. You are not alone in this journey and whatever you are going through right now, it's not your fault. So yeah, this video is going to be a little long and chatty, but I hope you will love this video. So the first time when I was bullied for my skin tone was when I was three years old. I was a prep school student and I was playing with my classmates. Uh, it was some sort of cops chasing the thieves sort of a game. And one of my batchmates who was also three years old at that point of time came up to me and told me that you have to be the thief all the time. And I asked why? So he said that, uh, you know, you have dark skin, so you are a criminal, you are a bad person, so you have to be the thief. And I believed him. I was like, okay, maybe you are right. And I came back home and I told my mom that this happened. So my mom understood what is going on and she told me that, no, you are not a criminal, you are not a bad person. But I believed what my friend said. And at this point, I also have to mention what my parents were like. They were the most supportive parents, they still are, but yeah, I mean, they never judged me for my skin tone, never ever did. And I think my parents also knew that I'm going to face this in the outer world. So they always kept telling me that my skin tone does not matter. What I do as a person, how I treat others, how I behave, how I conduct myself, how I am in my studies, these are the things that are going to shape me as a person in a long run and I understand that but you know what when you are going out and you are interacting with hundreds of other people and most of them are judging you for your skin tone your insecurities start building up so when I was in school yes I was very lucky most of my batchmates and my teachers were very supportive they loved me I mean yeah some of my friends used to make fun of me they used to call me Kali and all but that was in a very funny way and because they were not aware that what they're doing is bullying. So I remember uh, I was in the seventh standard and I started crying one day because I was feeling very bad and um, my English teacher noted it. So she told everyone that what you are doing is wrong and she explained it to them and after that they never did this. But when I was in the primary school, I remember a few incidents and those things 
really made me feel very bad so i was in the second standard and i was supposed to recite a poem for my school annual function and it was a solo performance and i was very excited about it i loved performing i loved reciting so i practiced really hard and then just a week before the program the teacher who was organizing the event called me asked me to recite out the poem and i did and then she told me that you know what it's not really good i think you should not do this i will ask someone else to recite the poem and if you can you can do some group performance and i felt very bad and this teacher she was one of my favorite teachers and i thought that maybe my recitation is not great so i moved away but i was still standing very close to her and i vividly remembered this she told this to another teacher that you know isha does not really look very nice she is very dark very tomboyish and she won't look good performing alone on the stage so i will select this another girl who was very pretty and cute and i was feeling very bad but at that point of time i had no idea that this is not my fault i felt it's my fault i am dark skinned so probably i am not good enough to perform alone on stage and in the third standard i remember there was a very pretty and extremely fair girl in our class and she used to sit beside me and one day she came up and told me that she is studying very hard she is not being a naughty kid anymore because if she is naughty then she will become dark like me and apparently her mom said this to her So yeah these small incidents kept happening these things kept triggering me i started to feel bad about myself and at that point of time i had no idea that this is bullying so i kept blaming myself for my dark skin tone and after that puberty happened and that was a very different phase of my life so my puberty was not like a beautiful transformation it was a very painful transformation i had a lot of pimple and acne and those things left scars on my face and then i used to get more pimples and more acne so this was like a continuous cycle and i was also a very outgoing person i used to play a lot i used to cycle a lot i used to play kabaddi i used to run so i was always outdoors in the day time and i used to get tanned very badly so at that point of time there was no concept of you know sunscreen or taking care of your skin and i was also a kid so i had a very bad tan on my face it was discolored there was these dark patches on my face and suddenly everyone around me was so concerned about how i am looking so all my relatives and neighbors started coming up with weird advices to me and my mom and uh, the advices were like you know apply sandalwood paste on your face every day apply turmeric paste a paste on your face every day don't go out to play don't drink coffee don't drink this don't eat that and everyone was concerned that how my parents are going to marry me off and at that point of time i was 11 or 12 years old but this is what people were concerned about how am i supposed to find a groom for myself well i did but at that point of time even i used to think well is this going to decide my future so yeah these things kept happening and i was kind of you know living two different lives i was very extrovert i loved doing a lot of activities i loved performing i loved talking to people but at the same time i was becoming very conscious about the way i look and about my skin tone and that is supposed to happen when you hit your puberty your hormones keep changing and they keep changing the way you think about yourself so i was also becoming very conscious about myself i used to feel scared to go up to people and talk to them because i was always worried what they will think of me so yeah these things kept happening throughout my school life i think things started changing a lot when i went to college i met a lot of people who were very aware of um, these things and they accepted me irrespective of the way i look yes there were still a few people who were judgmental and i i remember this one incident so there is this one incident from college that i will always remember there was this guy who claimed to be very intellectual and well read and everything 
one day in the canteen he told me that you know what isha you have to study really hard and work hard to get a job because you don't look beautiful so no one is going to give you a job just like that well i don't want to get a job just like that i know i have to work hard to get a job but i don't understand why my skin tone will decide if i get a job easily or it will be difficult but yeah this was such a such a mean comment and at that point of time i was not the person that i am today so i could not say anything i could not tell him that you are wrong but yeah i really felt bad another thing that really made me feel bad about my skin tone were the makeup stuffs that were available at that point of time so this was when i was 12 or 13 years old i think some 15 years back and i convinced my mom to buy me a foundation and she agreed so i was very happy i went to the shop and asked the sales person to show me a few foundations and this very reputed brand from india they had three foundation shades at that point of time which were like extremely fair very fair and still fair and the person gave me this last foundation shade and told me that you know what this is supposed to be the right one for your skin tone this is made for dark people and uh, she swatched it on my hand and somehow managed to convince me that it is right for me so i bought it i applied it on my face and it looked like a horrible white mask so at that time i told me myself that well you know what this foundation is supposed to be for dark skin so maybe this is the last acceptable shade of dark and you are darker than that so it's your fault not the foundation's fault so i think i finally learned to accept myself the way i am and love myself the way i am in 2013 or 2014 uh, it was the time when i met my amazing boyfriend who is my amazing husband now and he liked me the way i am i still remember the first day i met him i was looking horrible i had a chemistry practical class and i met him immediately after that and i was all sweaty and tanned and i was like oh god i'm looking so bad but then i told myself that if this guy does not like me like this then there's no point in talking to him and uh, we had such a lovely conversation and when i came back home i told him that sorry i was not ready and he said that i like that about you and that kind of changed the way i think about myself and that gave me a lot of confidence like i always knew that my parents love me my close friends love me but getting that compliment for uh, from someone who was a stranger back then it really made me feel very good about myself and also uh, in 2014 i was watching a lot of youtube videos i was reading a lot of blogs and a lot of beautiful people around the world were talking about these things you know about colorism and how it is bad and how this should come to an end i was watching a lot of latin american beauty bloggers who had beautiful gorgeous skin tone and they were using makeup not to hide their imperfection but to create art and i think i fell in love with makeup for the second time at that point of time and my relationship with makeup and beauty became very healthy and i also convinced myself that you are beautiful irrespective of your skin tone and you can you can conquer the world and do anything you want and your skin color cannot stop you from doing that so yeah this was my experience i know for a lot of people it's even more difficult and i feel so bad for them i wish things were easier for them and if you are watching this video and wondering how you can make a change how you can do something that will change the situation you can take very little steps and i'm sure that will create a huge impact in a long run so if you have a kid at your home or if you know any kids just you know educate those kids about these things tell them that bullying someone for the way they look for their skin tone for their body type is not cool i think kids need to learn these things along with studying and kids always mimic whatever they're seeing around them they look up to the elders right so if you know a kid and uh, if you can teach this in their very early years i'm sure they won't bully anyone even after they grow up and trying to stop using all the whitening creams and whitening products that are available out there because it's 2021 guys and the term whitening skin whitening should be banished from planet earth 
and if you ever see someone is getting bullied for her or his skin tone take a stand and protest even if that person is your worst enemy because that is really important and lastly if you are dark skinned like me and if you blame yourself for your dark skin don't do that be kind to yourself and you are an amazing person and you can do everything on planet earth and your skin tone won't change the person you are and it cannot control your life so yeah that is it for this video i really don't know what this video was supposed to be like and yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of relieved that i have finally made this video do share what you think about it i will be back with a new video very soon till then take care and bye bye